What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a big channel update, not just a channel update, but a big life update in general for myself. All right, so like I said, this video is probably the one that a lot of you have been waiting for. Um, I would imagine 99% of the views on this video are gonna come from current subscribers, but today I'm gonna be going over the big decision that I've been kind of going back and forth with for the past six, seven months, and that is with moving back to Florida or staying here in Vegas. And I'm gonna get into that and I'll put the timestamp on the screen here of exactly where you guys can see that news if you wanna just fast forward to that. But I wanna talk a little bit about how I ended up in Vegas, why I was even here, and maybe even why I started to make some of the Vegas videos that I did that most of you have actually found the channel from. So I just wanna start with the fact that I'm actually making a video about how living in Los Angeles and Las Vegas has changed my life over the last three years. I'm putting that together and it's gonna take some time. It's a long video. It pretty much documents, you know, my first ever trip to the West Coast and, you know, when I considered moving there and then when I moved there. And it's gonna walk through basically my entire story of living on the West Coast with my full experience and it's gonna be real raw. And you guys are gonna learn a lot of things about me as a person as well inside of that video, as well as a lot of clips that I haven't actually shared on the channel. But in this one, I wanna talk about mostly why I moved to Las Vegas and why I started to make Las Vegas videos. So first off, I moved to Las Vegas in July of 2018. I moved here simply because I needed to get out of LA. It was too expensive, my finances were not in order, and Vegas was the next place that I saw myself that was not too far from LA where if I wanted to end up going back to LA, I would be able to very, very easily. It wasn't like moving back to Florida and then coming back to LA. It would have been a very easy transition had I decided to go back to LA. But shortly after moving here, I decided that I definitely did not want to go back to LA. So Vegas was more of a transition city for me. It's kind of ironic that I live here because I never ever thought that I would live in Las Vegas, ever. I still remember I visited here in 2016 and I remember saying to myself, like, who the hell would want to live here? It's too hot. It's just dirt everywhere. Why would anybody want to live in Las Vegas? And uh, little did I know I'd be actually living here a couple years later. But yeah, it was more of a transition, transition city for me to see kind of what I wanted to do next. I never moved to Vegas with the intention of staying here long term. But once I started living here, I actually did enjoy living here, surprisingly. I liked that there were so many hikes that I could do. I liked the area that I lived in. Everything was very, very close. I liked how you know friends and family would want to visit me all the time. I liked just everything that it was super close to. I could go on a road trip. And I ultimately ended up really enjoyed living here. And that was a big surprise to me. I never thought that I would actually enjoy living here. So once I started to get some experience actually living here in Vegas, that's when I was still, I had been making YouTube videos for, I think almost four years now at this point. And I never really took it seriously. I always just kind of tried vlogging and I never really had a, a direction that I really wanted the channel to go on. It was just always kind of random vlogs because that's what I saw other people doing, you know, that had a large subscriber base. I thought naturally that's what I should do. And in reality, that's one of the worst things you should do starting out a YouTube channel because if nobody knows who you are, they don't care about what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I started making YouTube videos, sharing more of my experiences. And I started making videos about like why I left Los Angeles. And then that video started to do really well. And with that, I said, well, why don't I share videos about living here in Vegas, my experience? I haven't been here very long, but I can share my experience. So the first video that I made about moving here, I think it was like pros and cons of living in Southeast Las Vegas. That one started to do pretty good. And so I said, okay, maybe we're onto something here. So I started thinking about other things that I could share and I started doing a little bit of research. And then I just started making videos about living here in Las Vegas and just sharing that experience and putting it out there. And I had people who loved it and I had people who hated it. I had people who said, 
you know, you haven't been living here long enough, you can't talk about this city and don't tell people to move here, we're already full. You know, there's always those people in every city, you know, they've been here forever, they don't want new people coming in, and that's gonna happen anywhere you go. But that's really why I just started making the Vegas videos. I just started sharing my experiences. I started sharing what I thought could help people who are searching for this topic. And I had known that it was a very highly searched topic um, online and it was just a very trending thing because there's always people from California moving to Las Vegas. It's, it's something that's just always happening and it's going to continue to happen. So why not put out the information that could potentially help some of those people in their decision? So that's really why I started making the Las Vegas videos and they started doing well and then all of a sudden before I know it now the channel is at you know, 5,200 subscribers. And had I continued putting out only Vegas stuff back to back to back like I was doing for I think June, July and August was when I went like super hard on the videos. Um, I know that the channel right now would be 10, 20,000 subscribers very easily because of the growth that I had during that time because I kept producing content similar to that. And what happens is people binge watch it. But ultimately I started to get to a point where I had shared my experience with living here. I had shared my thoughts and I had shared the things that I thought were relevant to what I had experienced. That's not to say there's not other things that I could potentially talk about as well, but I always want to be educated before I make a video. I don't want to just make a video just to make a video. So I started to kind of get tired of making things about just living in Las Vegas, you know, like I'm not a realtor. I'm not trying to get people interested in, you know, moving here to buy a house. There was really no intention behind the videos besides me just sharing information you know that I thought was helpful to other people and it wasn't truly my passion it was just the, the videos started doing well so I started making more of them and obviously you know you get that that external feedback that hey this is working because of the views the likes the subscribers but at some point you start to want to talk about other things I know I have so many interests I have you know photography videography I love fitness I love personal development there's a ton of categories that I love to talk about and I didn't want to put myself into a box. I didn't want to put myself to, you know, build this gigantic audience that only expects Las Vegas videos and they are only subscribed for the Las Vegas content, not truly for, you know, me as a person. So ultimately that's when I started to create some more different style videos. I have things about like moving to Florida now. I have things about you know, I've done video editing things, I've done camera equipment, I've done fitness, I've done a couple of nutrition things, I think, some vlogs. But I just always want to share Tony. You know, I don't want to be, you know, Tony's life in Vegas or, you know, that's not a stab at anybody, but it's just saying like, I, that's not who I am. So I watched a video recently from Peter McKinnon, who's a, you know, big photography, videography guy, and he talks more about this in depth on how you should really create what you want to create. Always be yourself, always be authentic. And he brought up this point where I guess when he was like younger, you know, they asked what would be his business name. And people had like, you know, some such and such creative visuals and something, you know, media and all these things. And he just said his was Peter McKinnon. Because that's the same way that I see what I do. I don't want to be Tony Gonzalez, the fitness guy, or Tony Gonzalez, the Vegas guy, or Tony Gonzalez, the photo guy. I just want to be Tony Gonzalez, and I want to share everything that I'm passionate about and that I believe can bring value to somebody's life, whether that's one person, 100, or 10,000, or 100,000. It, it doesn't matter. I just want to share what I'm passionate about, what I enjoy doing, because at the end of the day, if you're just making a bunch of videos that you're not really passionate about, you've just made yourself another job that you really don't like going to. It's like having a job that you, you hate going to five days of the week and then you come home and you spend the rest of your time making videos about things that you really don't enjoy anyway. And that's not to say again that I don't enjoy Las Vegas. I love Las Vegas and I love everything it has to offer, 
but I just never wanted to put myself into that box. I never wanted to limit my creativity. I always want my creativity to be changing because as human beings, we are always changing. So what we're interested in right now, what our you know thoughts are, our perspectives, they're always changing. So with that being said, I know this was a long video and I, I went on, but I wanted you guys to just understand why I even started making these videos in the first place. And with that being said, I have made a decision. I will be moving back to Orlando, Florida on February 1st. So it's very, very quick. It's actually next Friday or Saturday, I believe. So it's about a week from today. And I came to this decision because I feel just like my time here in Vegas, I've completed what I came here to complete. I moved here as a transition. I moved here to get myself into that better financial position. I moved here to go through the things that I know I needed to go through. You know, when I lived here, guys, I know I've talked about this before, but I paid off all of that debt. You know, I got rid of my car. You know, I, I dealt with a lot of things that really were low blows and things that, you know, I had to sacrifice a lot living here. And had I been back home, it would have been very hard because I would have had all of the distractions of friends and family and all these people. And Vegas allowed me to come here and quiet all of that out. It allowed me to have that season of, I don't want to say isolation because I wasn't, I don't want to say I was lonely, but I needed that alone time. I needed that time to focus on what I needed to do without all the distractions and the temptations. And some people would say this is the worst spot to do that because there's gambling, there's alcohol, there's all these things, but I don't do any of that. I don't gamble. I never gambled a single dollar when I lived here. I don't drink hardly ever. If I do, it's for like New Year's or like a birthday. Um, I don't smoke, you know, I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke marijuana. I don't do any of that. You know, I don't go to strip clubs. It's, it's just a waste of money. It's not something I'm interested in. And so for me, this was not a hard place to do that in, but I know for a lot of people, they're not able to do that. It takes an entirely new level of self-discipline to do what I did here. And I'm just proud of the progress that I've made. I'm proud of where I've come from. And I'm proud of reflecting back on this experience and being able to move forward. So I wouldn't be making this video without the support of you guys. So I just want to say thank you to those of you that are subscribed. I want to say thank you to all of you that have, you know, liked, commented, shared, you know, sent me messages and for just being here in general and actually just, just giving a shit about, you know, me as a person and the content that I put out. This was probably one of the first times where, you know, I actually felt like I was doing something that people really truly appreciated. I've always put out tons of different content and nothing ever hit quite like the Las Vegas stuff did. And I've never gotten such um, strong feedback as the Las Vegas stuff. So I will continue making videos, guys. The channel is not going anywhere. I'm gonna be vlogging in Orlando. I'm gonna be making videos about Orlando and things that I think, again, can bring value and to share that experience with you guys. So again, I just wanna thank you for being here. Again, if you weren't here, I would not even be making a video about an update because it probably wouldn't even matter. But because I have an audience now, because of the support of you guys, I'm able to do that. And I'm truly grateful that I actually have people on the other side of this you know, lens that actually, again, care about me as a person. And I've had people reach out like, hey, I hope everything's okay. You haven't put a video up. Are you okay? What's going on? You know, and just to have that concern from other people about just my well-being is um, it's it's a surreal feeling. It's it's pretty amazing. So again, I just want to say thank you. I'm excited for what's to come, guys. I will be making a video of the road trip. I don't know how long the road trip is going to be. I don't know how many stops I'm gonna make or if I'm gonna be making multiple videos, but I will be documenting some of the experience. I'm gonna be driving back to Florida, so it'll probably be a five, six day trip, I think. So we'll see what happens, but one week here and then we're gone. So it's crazy to think that this journey is over, but it's just a chapter in your book, right? Like we, we are always changing, like I said. So I'm excited for the next chapter. I'm excited to see what Orlando brings. 
and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know some of you are gonna be upset by the news. You're, you know, you love Las Vegas and I, I love Las Vegas too, but I just feel like this is the right move for me and I have to do what's right for me. So I hope you guys stick along. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you drop a comment down below. What are your thoughts? What do you think about the move? What's your, what's your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.